Have you ever wondered what £22,000 or about $27,000 US dollars worth of silver looks like laid out on a kitchen table? Then look no further, we've got an epic video for you here today. Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a warm welcome to you all joining us for this big overview of this giant pile of silver which I unboxed in my previous video. If you've not checked that video out, it's probably the best place to start. There's a link down in the description below. Today's video though is an overview. We're going to have a grand tour de force of what people have ordered. I've got my Bible spreadsheet here, which is what I work off to make sure that all of the coins that people have ordered have been delivered from the European Mint and then I can package them up and dispatch them out to all of the lucky new owners of this wondrous pile of treasure it's an incredible pile and whilst we're going to showcase and talk a lot about some of the coins that are in here we're also going to talk a little bit about the fact that this is about 22 grand this is about 22,000 pounds worth about 27,000 dollars worth 25,000 euros worth of silver now there are some premium coins in here which take the average price per ounce significantly higher we've got some of these, if I can get one of the boxes out. Burning, I think this is the Burning Orientals. Yeah, Burning Orientals. This is a significant quantity of these that some customers have ordered. So those really should be taken out of the equation. So perhaps we're looking at more sort of close to 20 grand, 20,000 pounds worth of silver here on the table, which is quite the sight, let me tell you. But it's not that unmanageable, not that unwieldy. It's part of the reason why I think silver is still so favorably seen upon at the moment. It can be a big style investor uh, metal. And I have talked numerous times about how I find the silver to be too bulky almost, but let's be honest, let's face facts here. If you've got 20 grand and you want to put it into metals, you could get this much here, or you could get like 15 one ounce gold coins, which is significantly less weight, yes, but this is pretty cool and you get to have such diversity and not only the diversity but in the designs but also diversity in sizes and of course the disadvantage with buying lots of gold in one great big sway is you can't liquidate small parts of it so silver i guess is what i'm saying is there's still a place for big style silver investing and if you are in the market for it this is kind of what you can expect from around you know 80 19 20 thousand pounds worth of silver so what have people been spending their hard-earned fiat currency and converting into precious metals. So this is my Bible spreadsheet. For those who haven't seen the unboxing or any of these before, this isn't my silver. Wish it was. In fact, I don't think any of the coins in here, I haven't ordered any coins for this batch, are mine. All of these will be dispatched out to new they're new and lucky owners who have ordered as part of these group purchases from the European Mint to help save costs on shipping and get access to the VAT free silver while it's still available. So you can immediately see right at the top of this list, the standout winner, 2020 one ounce silver Britannia, 294, 294 ounces worth of these one ounce silver Britannias have been ordered. Now, what we have done in the past for these particular showcasing videos is have a very neat and tidy pile. Everything's all laid out in one frame for the camera. But as you can see, you know, it's quite sprawled across the table. We've got coins left, right and center. And this is part of the working that I do here uh, to ensure that everything is clear and present. And one of the tips that I will give anybody who's unboxing large quantities of silver is for tubes. Uh, it, there's a cheat. There's a cheat method. And if you're buying from a big um, reputable dealer then this is an easy cheat to do because you kind of know almost with a hundred percent degree of certainty that the silver you're buying is genuine and real these have come straight from the Royal Mint they are still mint sealed tubes and I don't really want to crack open every single one you know potentially risk milk spotting and you know toning and fingerprints and all of that so the cheat method is to just weigh it and what you should expect is around 820 grams for each one of these that will then mean we have got 25 silver Britannias in each tube. So that's a cheap method I use. Um, you can see the scales aren't going back to zero. These are not perfect scales, but it's approximate. 800, um, it's like 819, 820. That's the rough weight that you should be looking at for these. So we've got a total of uh, 200 there, 275, and then there's a bunch of loose ones here in the box to make up that last 20, what we, 20, no, 19 uh, extras. So 
really, really popular, as you can imagine, and there's good reasons for that in terms of the capital gains tax exemption status of the Britannias. And one thing that people are, are definitely kind of keen on is that capital gains tax exemption status. I have seen in previous group orders lots of different types of coins coming from the Perth Mint. And you might have seen here on the list, uh, if you exclude the capsules, which, we, which we've got the second place, 41 rectangular dragon capsules, the second place goes to the silver rectangle dragon coin bar from the Perth Mint, which arguably are phenomenal and I love them and I think that they're wonderful, but I am not going to be buying large quantities of them. I bought large quantities of the 2018s and 19s, but the 2020s for me, if I'm going to put money into silver right now, I'm going to put money into capital gains tax exempt silver like these, which are the creme de la creme of this particular group order. And those are, of course, the Queen's Beast 10 ounces. These are the drinks coasters of silver coins. They are phenomenal. And all told, I think we've got uh, 17 of them. We've got nine Yales, seven, uh, no, seven unicorns, sorry, seven Yales, nine Falcons and one unicorn. So a huge quantity in terms of ounceage. We've got 170 ounces worth there, which of course far outstrips the second place of the rectangular dragon bar. So capital gains tax exempt status silver, I think is really important right now because even if you have relatively small amounts, certainly if you were looking to buy a stack this size of around 20,000, uh, even in one go or across a period of time, you would be looking at potentially huge gains if silver went to 30 pounds an ounce, 40 pounds an ounce, even more. Depending on where the world will go, you could end up with a capital gains exempt status item to save you a lot of money, which is what I think a lot of people are jumping on at the moment. So the uh, you can see here then you've got the uh, Royal Arms coins, which are lovely coins. I thought you got any of those easily accessible. We'll maybe, oh yeah, we've got one here. So the Royal Arms from the Royal Mint, another capital exam exempt coin, really nice. Slightly higher premium than the Britannia's, but a good alternative, really attractive looking coin if you wanted to grab hold of those. And then the White Lions of Mortimer, the, the two ounce silver Queen's Beasties. Uh, very, very nice coins as well. I like this line. It's one of my favourites of the bunch, I have to say. So capital gains exempt status coins really shining through and showcasing what silver I think is all about for us here in the United Kingdom at the moment. And the uh, the Britannias take the crown with the Queen's Beast coming in a close second. Then the rest of the order is the usual eclectic mix of all of the different other types of stuff. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, the kind of standard bullion coins that you might expect. We've got some Krugerrands, we've got some Nui Owls, we've got Maples, we've got uh, Philharmonics, and we've got some Eagles somewhere as well. Some US Eagles, I have a feeling they're tucked. Oh, no, we've got one there. So we have a whole array of different world bullion, which is fantastic. I mean, I, I love having the collections. I, have, I love having the different types of bullion uh, represented. But as I said, for me right now, it is all about capital gains tax exempt silver. And if you are going to be buying lots of these different collections to have, you know, these staples of the silver industry, then by all means, go for it. I'm not saying that they're a bad buy right now. Silver is still silver. But if you've got a larger budget, definitely have a think about the capital, capital gains exemption status. So there are also some uh, premium coins that are involved in this order as well. Uh, we've got some of the Pressburg Mint uh, favourites right now. These have always been well represented in each group order that we've done over the last couple of months. And uh, they're very attractive coins from the Pressburg Mint. And I really, really like them, I have to say. Uh, again, you know, it's nice and refreshing to see other things than just plain old bullion. And I have said so many times in the last couple of weeks and months that premium coins right now do represent a potentially quite good buy because their premiums are not absurdly high with uh, relation to the just the standard bog standard bullion. You know, you're looking at uh, Silver Britannia right now at around £25 an ounce, where you could get a premium coin for around £30 an ounce. And previous to this whole crisis, you know, the difference there was significantly higher. So there's definitely an opportunity, I think, for these kind of coins. And we've got some of the big five lions represented in here. Uh, there's another couple of cool things, the Perth Mint. There's a five ounce uh, Perth Mint year of the mouse. Really nice, lovely, lovely coin. I love this one. It's very pretty indeed. Uh, we've got a five ounce Scottsdale uh, Roaring Lion, which is 
undoubtedly one of my favorite coins that's been ordered from this group purchase really cool and in tomorrow's video for all of you who are wanting a closer look and a little bit more information about some of the cooler items in here we will be featuring some of them on in focus friday there's a really really interesting 1.25 ounce spade guinea in here as well silver lovely stuff so lots of interesting things to feature we've got some sort of pandas down here uh, we've got some red back spiders uh, we've got some jurassic park coins these are pretty cool uh, i am a huge jurassic park fan i think it's a fantastic movie if you've never seen it go and see it certainly if you're a new generation love it really cool stuff um we had yep yeah, i found it here bart simpson that's a very popular one right now with a huge premium that's growing on it. So uh, lots of very, very cool things in this order. And I guess that's about it. I mean, the rest of it is, as I said, just, you know, a mixture of bullion, mixture of other things. Uh, we have got the premium coins in here as well that are taking up, of course, uh, you know, a significant part of the, the value of these types of coins. So we've got here the burning oriental border. Britannia is very, very pretty, very pretty indeed. But they are at the very top end of that kind of premium range. And for me, it's just, you know, for me going forward, it's about capital gains exempt silver. Personally, for me, it's about Queen's Beast coins because as I have said so many times before, any silver that I buy, any silver that I look to add to my stack right now is a means to an end to get more gold. I think gold is the way to go for the very long term. I could be wrong about that, but personally, I feel like gold is the safer longer term bet got some other really cool items in this box so this is just a monster box of all the loose coins uh what have we got here i can't remember these are the oh yeah, these are the under the southern skies coins that will definitely be featured in tomorrow's video stunning stunning piece indeed so that i hope gives you a bit of an overview of everything that we have been ordering and how i look to arrange and order them uh you know in the next task for me is to get all of this shipped out to their new lucky owners and by the time these videos have gone live we all have managed to get all of those coins out to people so um, yeah if you're interested in getting involved in these types of orders in the future then i've put links down below to the silver forum where you can find out all of the information about them and how they work of course there are going to be potential end dates for them now because we're getting to the back end of the year where uh where Brexit, that's the word, I was forgetting what it was, where Brexit is going to rear its ugly head again and we're going to see what's going to happen for the long term in terms of the next steps for the relationship with Europe and VAT and taxes and stuff. So uh, I would say from my, uh, basically my forecasting that we've got at least one, definitely one more, it's open right now with the delivery mid-September and then we're probably going to run one more until... Uh, mid-October and then that gives me enough leeway in case there's delays and second waves of uh, beer flu and things like that for us to get everything processed and done and not potentially have things arrive after the transition period which would be a pretty disastrous nightmare so that is basically it if you enjoyed this overview there's a little bit of silver shot in here as well for me uh, just to pour a few little things with if you've enjoyed this overview of this big order, then you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button, share it around on your social media. If you'd like to support the channel, then make sure you check out our memberships. There's a link down below, the join button, and you can see all of the different cool things that we can offer. There's uh, first looks at cool pieces of silver that we create, as well as behind the scenes footage from silver pouring and many other activities. So check it out and have a look, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic week ahead. And as always, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.